Now we're getting into the romantic houses. You excited? So today we're talking about the Greek revival style house. This, now this is a, this is, oh the air went off, you hear that? Does it sound get better? This style has some key features. Just like all the others, right? There's some key features to the Greek revival style. It's very similar to some of the ones we've already talked about, um, but there's a couple of little unique things about it. The slope of the roof is a little bit shallower than um, the Adam and the Georgian, but there, but there is still a main house that is rectilinear, like a rectangle, two stories with a simple gabled roof. The porch on the house, which is, they all have front porches on the house. Um, there'll be a stoop and a front porch, like a one story porch with typically a frat, uh, ah, a one story porch with typically a frat, a flat. <laughs> That's hard to say. A one story porch with typically having a flat roof supported by four columns. And then the front door was a little bit more unique actually in the fact that there's a panel door and maybe even a glass door, but there's side lights introduced. So glass on either side of the door and a strip of windows above the door, a transom windows. So that adds a lot more light to the opening, um, a lot more open feeling than some of the previous structures. So it's a more inviting um, entry into the home. The columns that support these porches were either round, simple columns, or even possibly square columns in some cases. There's several different variations of the porch too because you had the one story with the flat roof, but then you also had two story uh, porches which had taller columns similar to um, some of the previous styles we talked about. You also had a full porch, a, a full width of the porch being um, on the front facade. So you had the entire uh, front facade being under cover um, at the entry door. So that's something that we see uh, done quite often now with with uh, similar homes of the Greek Revival style. Flat facade with a series of columns. Um, actually typical probably of a lot of fraternity houses um, as well. So that's kind of that Greek thing, right? This, this time period was from about 1825 to about 1860. So fairly short time period uh, to, to make up the major style, the body of, of work that that generally falls into this particular style. I mean, that's a short time period compared to some of the others from like 1600 to 1750, that kind of stuff. So, um, very short defined time period for this particular style. Although we know that, um, it, you know, it's always been copied and replicated throughout time and actually still is to this day. So, so the Greek revival style is very similar to the previous um, Georgian and Adam style. And what makes this kind of unique is um, now the introduction of the larger porch. Um, so you have you have your main massing here, but then you also would have. You have a porch element sometimes similar to this. And then from, from this, you actually have a pretty low sloping main roof that actually is behind this flat porch element. And then you have the large columns. And then the front door actually might have transom, maybe side lights, and maybe a glass or panelized door there. And then um, it wasn't too uncommon to actually have a balcony on this. 
from this upper level, but um, the column, the columns were usually uh, usually had six. six columns um, spacing this out then there would be the freeze which is the top element and the architrave which is the the lower band there that would be have some decoration to it um, actually, going to space these columns out a little bit more than how I drew them the first time. So I'm going to have a larger um, door opening here with a lot of detail, um, with trim and and all that uh, stuff, really dressing up the the entry of the home. Um, a lot of times these windows up underneath here would have shutters on them um, and um, sometimes you see the balcony actually would see a balcony here and it could be a it would be behind the columns So the columns would come through and not break, not be broken for that. And then you, you would have, all this would be set up out of the ground. And the, the landscape would be pretty heavily landscaped around this. Um, and you know this is a very simple form but these these homes were generally really large and would would grow um, from from this sometimes you would see uh, you know they all had chimneys but you would sometimes see that they had uh, maybe even like rooftop cupola type um, structures with with glazing and and windows that had maybe some kind of a some kind of element on the roof there that would um, and then of course all this would have decoration and and be all be all. Um, emphasized there so this is the Greek revival from 1825 to 1860 